I decide to see what Natsuki is doing. She appears to be jumping up and down, trying to grab a box of manga. Whoa, what? Natsuki, why did you suddenly get so... small? <laughs> here and welcome back to Doki Doki Cliche Club. Last time, let's just say it was a crazy day and date with Sayori and uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. So you guys know the drill and what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. I don't know why I said date but uh, I, I guess it kind of counts I suppose. As much as I love to take a drink, this is still official club business. No more wine. Huh? Where did my precious elixir disappear to? Okay, th uh, <laughs> okay, uh, th th thesaurus lady. I forgot to say that word. I, I I've heard it before, but I forgot to say it now. Um, thesaurus lady, can we just eat? Uh, all right. <laughs> Boy, what a day that was. Say it's late, and our parents are not only home but basically non-existent. Yeah? Did you maybe wanna... buy a self-defense? Not interested. Meanie. In that case, I'm going to sleep. I'd buy one. <laughs> well, how did I get here? You... walked here? Oh yeah. Dang, time skips. <laughs> so, what's the plan for today? Well, we need to cover our bases. And that includes saving all the Dokis. So, let's start, shall we? You're already helping Sayori, so focus on everyone else should be fine. Uh, alright. Good luck! Don't cut yourself, lol. <laughs> Thank you, Finn. I'm cured. Just kill your dad. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I mean, yes, we, we, we get it, we get it. Her, her father abuses her. Dang, that's hardcore. But what if I still love him or something? Well, my dog died last summer, so there's a doghouse in my backyard with her name on it. Oh boy, definitely not a, um, an obvious female dog joke there. Here, works for me. <laughs> The soap? That should be about everyone, right? Aren't you forgetting someone? I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably right. Hmm. Okay, everyone. I think it's time to go. Alright, see ya, Monica. Ah, the weekend. It's a nice day out. Couldn't have asked for any better. Say, I wonder what Sayori's up to on this fine afternoon. Not entirely sure, though. As long as she's not, you know, obviously. Uh, why is her house so dark? It makes sense when it was nighttime, but it's the middle of the afternoon. Does she not have windows? Or maybe this is some kind of budget. What? Budget constraint. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. Uh, let's go see what Sayori's up to. I gently open the door, not because I really care about being sensitive, but it just feels right. Hey, see ya. What did I say about having an, uh, a rope in your hand, Sayori? Put that down. Hey, Sayori. Her eyes light up when she sees me. Oh, hi, Finn. It's great to see you. Performing some R&D on your self-defense news? You know it. Wanna help me test it? I'll pass, thank you very much. Well, looks like it's up to me. Sayori begins fastening the rope to her ceiling. Then she grabs a chair and slides it underneath. Hey, wait a minute. Sayori, are you, you're not going to try unaliving yourself, are you? <laughs> no, silly. It's not a matter of trying. I will succeed. My heart rate accelerates. Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Sayori's life is in danger right now. What should I do? What? Sir- Oh, come on now. Oh, gay. We have two choices. Right choice, wrong choice. <laughs> why, why is this a, a chi choice, actually? 
Oh, uh, I forgot to save my progress to see what's going on, but whatever, I'll just gonna go with the right choice. Hey, could you step out for a second? When you're about to unalive yourself? Well, yeah, you don't want to see it happen, do you? I don't want it to happen in the first place. Relax, once I'm gone, there's three other people you can talk to. Actually, there's only two worth talking to, but that's just being nitpicky. Well, we all care about you, and I don't want to talk to any of them. Heck, they're practically entirely ignored on this road. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I guess you have a point. But I would have wasted so much time. I made this whole business solely as a guise to hold on to a ton of nooses. Wow, she's a lot more clever than I have to give her credit for. Even if that's the way darker than this mod should be. It would be such a drag to not unalive myself at this point. Okay, first, would you be more... Would you, wouldn't you be wasting more time by just not living? Exactly, and and plus, like I said, um, the world ain't the same without the cinnamon bun. I ain't. <laughs> things aren't gonna be the same without you, Sayori. Second, we don't have to waste the nooses. We can just build a massive corporate empire. I'll help you sell all your nooses so you don't have to throw them out. I sure hope people end up buying them because they're at a, a competitive price and not because they're they've come pre-tied. All right, you've got a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Sayori steps down from her chair and embraces me. So, are you feeling a little better now? 100 degrees. Wait, were the degrees just percentages the whole time? I don't know that. Doki Doki Cliché Club mod by various artists. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. Tradition. Tradition. Okay. I guess that's the uh, the, the Sayori route. Um, let's see what the wrong choice is like. Okay, I... Uh, skipped forward to this one because I really do not want to waste my time going through all that. So let's, uh, you know what? Let's check out the wrong choice. Hey, could you step out for a second? Huh? Uh, yeah, sure. Great, thanks. All right, now count to 30 and come back in. Is this a game of hide and seek? Sure is. I chuckle. She really is childish. I mean, when was the last time we played hide and seek? Childhood friends, right? Better get to counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Ready or not, here I come. I excitedly gently open the door. I have no words. Oh wow, she unalived herself. Her, I, for one, am shocked. And why is po Poem Panic playing? <laughs> okay. That's better. Hold on, there's a note clenched in her fist. This, an, this is an example of the power of the self-defense news. Get yours for only $19.99 today. Of course, but who's going to be selling nooses if she's dead? Also, something burning. What? Is her house on fire? Is she cooking something? I bet it is. Oh. Of course. Oh, this is, uh... 
Now this, this mod's definitely truly something special. <laughs> well, that's the, uh, the Sayori route for you. You know what? Uh, since we're still here, let's check out the other choices next. Uh, we're done with Sayori, so of course, let's... You know what? Let's go with Natsuki. Natsuki. What do you want? Did I say that out loud? Uh, Earth to Finn. You gonna keep staring at me or what? Looks like I did. Sorry, just thinking out loud is all. Oh, okay. Wait. What were you thinking about me? Uh, nothing. Well, it better not have been anything rude. Or gross. Don't worry about it. I escaped from that awkward situation as quickly as possible. It's mostly silent as Sayori and I walk home. Finally, Sayori speaks up. So, what were you thinking about Natsuki? Huh? I feel my face go red. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I've got to get out of this somehow. Where did you hear that? I can see Sayori trying to hold in her laughter. She ends up giggling at my expense anyway. I heard you were- I heard you talking to Natsuki in the corridor. I was r right next to you, you know. So, let me ask again. What were you thinking about? Her voice is mocking. N nothing I just... My face grows hotter than the sun. Why do you want to know so much? Because it seems interesting. I see my house in the distance. Oh, hey Sayori, looks like we're home. I'll, we'll have to continue this conversation later. <laughs> Alright, just completely dodging the question there, MC. I briskly walk to the front door and I then turn the handle. Locked. I may or may not have my uh, have left my key inside my living room before heading out this morning. Well, I only have one hope of getting in my house. Sayori? Yeah? The Sayori's voice can be heard off in the distance. Do you still have my spare key? Uh, I think so. Why? I'm kind of locked out of my house. Oh, one sec. Sayori returns out of breath. She holds up a key. I've... Uh, got it. Thanks, Sayori. You're a lifesaver. Not so fast. You have to tell me what's up with you and Natsuki first. Do I have to? Come on, just say it. Yep. I... Uh... I have trouble speaking. I picked a route for this mod. <laughs> I mean, true, because I really want to see how this goes, so... There you go, Sayori, there's your answer. whoop de doo Huh? Uh, I meant... I really like her. She's nice, she's... Whoa, that's so cool! You two would be a super cute couple! Not in this road, because again, I'm just really curious how this goes. A distant growl echoes through the neighborhood. I am not cute! <laughs> With supersonic echo there? Jeez, Natsuki! Yep, knew this cliche mod wasn't gonna be able to escape that line. Whoa, let's not get ahead ourselves here. I just think she's pretty neat, you know? Sure, Finn. Alright, can I get my key now? Yeah, I guess. Sayori hands me the spare key. We part ways and I enter my house. I'm incapable of do- okay, we already know this. I awaken to a very annoying alarm mp3. Groggly opening, okay. Oh, I head to the door and stuff. Yeah, I already know this. Yeah, yeah it's all pretty neat. <laughs> Why, hello! The char character that maintains the plot relevance no matter the mod. Huh? Nothing. It's good to see you. <laughs> I mean, of course, since I chose a different route, she's always going to be there, so... Of course! Of course! Ready to head to school? Know it. It's gonna happen. Bloody, bloody, bloody. I decide to see what Natsuki's doing. 
She appears to be jumping up and down, trying to grab a box of manga. Whoa, what? Natsuki, why did you suddenly get so... small? Why so small? Um, did you, uh... Did you got hit by a Goomba or something? Uh, I can go get a mushroom for you if you want. <laughs> you definitely need it. You need that growth. After a minute or so, she surrenders, placing her hands on her knees while breathing heavily. Okay, now she's now she's back to being big. Big Natsuki. <laughs> Keeps moving my f manga. Come on it. Ah. Natsuki spins around and only just now realizes I was standing behind her. Sorry. Don't go around scaring people like that, dummy. She punches my arm. Anyways. Need help getting your manga? I can do it myself. And that went so well last time. Natsuki storms off and grabs a stool and head, heads back towards the closet. Hold on. Huh? What do you want? Use this. I conjure a trampoline. Where from? Who knows? What? Don't question it. Uh, alright. I give Natsuki the mini trampoline. As she bends over to set it up, I simply crab the manga myself. Where did... Dummy, I told you I don't need any help. She punches me in the arm. Again. Ow. Grr. So, you wanna read some manga? Yeah, I guess. Sweet. We both sit up against the wall and Natsuki rests manga between us. The two of us sit bunched together reading. It's mostly silent except when Natsuki complains about her dad or something. I don't know what it's really about since I'm focusing on this manga. I really like it now or something. Hey, Finn? What's up? I kinda need a place to stay for a while. So I was wondering if I could live at your place. Don't get the wrong idea, Papaka. Well, I'll have to sacrifice the ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> the ball pit room. Well, I gotta make sure everything is uh, nice and clean, and hope nobody pissed in it. I will do what I must. But hey, I'm going to be living with a cute anime girl. Sure, I have a spare room you can stay in. Really? Yeah, why not? I only known you for a whole eight days. Th thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. So, but why are you so nice to me? Because that's one of my only defining character traits. Oh. Well, uh, alright. Well, you okay if I come over in a week? I shrug. Why am I me? Great! I mean, th that's cool. Uh... Okay, everyone. I think we're out of time for today. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget, we aren't doing poems anymore. I say my goodbyes and make my way out of the club. Before I get through the doorway, I feel a soft tug at my sleeve. Don't forget what you said earlier, okay? I won't, promise. Of course. New room for her. Yeah. We walk in silence for a while until Sayori finally speaks up. So, you read with Natsuki, huh? And what of it? She giggles. Nothing. It's just that you two are so cute together. Nah. Nah, not, no, Sayori. I was gonna say Natsuki. Again, I'm sorry. I mixed up names, okay? I, uh, I, I messed up. <laughs> Nah, Sayori, no, both of us are gonna be, you know, okay as friends or something, but with you, with me and you, of course, we're a couple, me and you, Sayori, cause I freaking love you, Cinnamon Bun. I feel my face redden a little. Thanks, Sayori. She's totally into you, you know. You should ask her out. As if I'd be so bold. Come on, Finn. Maybe someday, but only after she moves in with me. Sayori blinks a little. Oh, alright. And how long would that take? I shrug. Not too long. Really? 
you've known you only known each other for like a week. Eight days, Sayori. Eight days. Um. All right. Looks like this is where we part ways. Bye, Finn. See ya. I stand in my bedroom for a little while. Man, still nothing any girls have done that makes the afternoon plot re relevant. Hmm. Alright, time for the club. I wonder what's going to greet me today. I gently open the door and step inside. <laughs> hey Finn, how's it hanging? Hey Monica, surprise your hair on time. Well, not much else to distract me these days. That's good. Anyways, I'm gonna go to talk to Natsuki now. Of course you are. I walk across the class to Natsuki who seems to be speaking with Yuri. It's like I told you yesterday, manga is literature. Tell me, Natsuki, do you think a draw you look <laughs> do you do you look at a drawing with a caption and think this is literature? Man, looks like they're really going at it. Hmm. I wasn't the one who's <laughs> Booba magically grew a size bigger as soon as Finn started showing up. Okay, Flat Stanley. Wow, <laughs> Flat Stanley? Wow! <laughs> okay! Natsuki looks mortified as she inhales, preparing to scream. Both of you, stop! The girls turn around in shock, only just re n now realizing I was present. F Finn? I. Natsuki then bolts me past out of the club room. Natsuki, I. I didn't mean it. Well, guess it's my time to shine. What? As I exit the club room, I find Natsuki crawling under a nearby vending machine. Ah, yes! It's glorious! The glorious floating vending machine. How she fits underneath it? I'm not sure. Maybe she really is Flat Stanley? What? <laughs> Flat Stanley! Okay! <laughs> I guess it's some kind of an American joke that I don't understand. Natsuki. Ah, uh, Finn, go away. Natsuki grits her teeth and clenches her uniform as she looks away. Hey, it's okay. I'm sorry Yuri was giving you a hard time. Yeah, well, it's no big deal. I'm fine. A tear, a straight tears falling down Natsuki's face shows she's she's not indeed fine. Hey Natsuki, I rest my hand on her shoulder. Well, as much as I can while she's under a vending machine. Why are you helping me, Finn? My chest is really, f my chest really is flat. Here he was right. Well, that isn't important. Besides, I feel my face grow red. Isn't that what friends are for? But you're not denying it! She whines. Here, come sit. Natsuki then pushes herself out from underneath like a car mechanic. <laughs> Whoop! I guide her to a nearby bench where she nearly collapses. Beginning to lean on my onto my shoulder, she starts crying harder than before. Lord, why must I be cursed with a chest oh so flat? When all I want to do is hit my friend Yuri with a bat. Wow, you really don't have to do that, Natsuki. That's really unnecessary. People are mean, Finn. They make me want to just yell at them. You're the only person in this cruel world that is so nice to me. Why? Well, I just enjoy spending time with you. You... you mean that? Yep. Uh... Finn... Can I ask a question? Sure. Why do certain boys make my heart flutter? Maybe you have some kind of illness. Might want to see a doctor. What? I hear heart disease this right this time of year. Huh? I... Sure. Whatever. A silence then falls upon us. I get the feeling I'm missing something here. Eventually, I speak up. 
All right. Yeah, I need to back, head back inside. Natsuki sniffles as she softly nods. He, yeah. I help Natsuki to my feet as we walk back into the club room together. Upon our entrance, no Monica's the first to notice us. Hey, Natsuki. Feeling any better? He, yeah. Natsuki then turns to look at me. But not because of him or anything. <laughs> I'm sure it has nothing to do with him. Shut up, Monica. Alright, alright. Natsuki. With that, Natsuki flinches. What do you want, Yuri? I wanted to apologize for my previous remarks. I should give you the respect you deserve. Um, uh, I'm sorry too. I should have yelled at you like I did. Well, if it will make you feel better. Yuri inhales deeply. I shall read one of your manga. Sweet! Does this mean I had to read a fancy book? Y yes. Well, I guess it won't hurt. Yuri then beams at Nozuki. Excellent. What was it you said you read? The painting of Mark or something, right? Or should of Markov. Yeah, that. <laughs> Pain of painting of Mark. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's actually kind of clever. You two are so cute. Huh? Okay, everyone. I think it's time we end the meeting for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. We say our goodbyes and we all leave the club. Alright. Ayanara. Sayonara. Sorry. <laughs> Why did I say that? Uh, I, I don't think I... Uh, um. No. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> As I lay in bed, my mind wanders about the events from earlier today. Why do certain boys make my heart flutter? What could she have meant with that? Is she sick? Is she going to die? I also never asked her why she was under a vending machine in the first place. My mind is a million different places. Oh well, I need to get some sleep so I can be ready for tomorrow. She's falling head over heels for you slowly, I think, or well, she just likes you. Slightly. Or well, making progress or whatever. Eh, you get the point. So that's why unicorns are definitely real. Aha, uh -huh. you drive a compelling argument, Sayori. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I guess this is our stop. See you tomorrow, Finn. Yep. Alright, time to get home and watch some anime. Hey, what are you doing here? Moving in. That was today? Yes, dummy. I even told you multiple times not to forget. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Are you going to let me in or what? It, yeah. Scared of not to keep punching me again, I swiftly unlock the front door. Welcome, uh... Home? Yeah, whatever. That's pretty cold for free rent. Oh, well, I sure don't have the backbone to stop her. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm going to end the episode right here, fellow knights. I'm sorry, but don't you guys worry, there will always be another episode. <laughs> Self-defense nooses, and now we are in Natsuki's route, and uh cannot wait to see how this goes in the next one, which don't you guys worry, like I said, next episode. <laughs> So yeah, if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.